Levi here. Uh, the final day has come, leaving Missoula. It's been a short, well, a short stay it feels. Two and a half months for the most part, but time flies when you're having fun. So again, the day has come. Gonna have to head home, two and a half hour drive back to the Great Falls area from Missoula. Uh, gonna go get my daughter. Uh, I would be in Phoenix tomorrow. I mean, it's gonna be a lot of traveling in the next 48 hours, be in Phoenix for a short stay, five days, and then take on the summer with a four-year-old. Excited to see her. Have a bunch of stuff planned for the most part and only adding to that schedule. With the final day, obviously, like any trip, you're trying to pack in as much as possible, uh, which includes a lot of boring stuff like packing, but uh, some fun stuff as well. And as we continue, I continue to scratch those off because they get accomplished as well. I don't like doing them. So, uh, you know, sitting on the couch, being kind of lazy. Some stuff that is on the schedule, as much as um, things have been organized, we just have to throw it in the car. The farmer's market is today. Uh, we may go, I'm not quite sure. Again, like I said, we keep scratching things off and just trying to take things, enjoy the last day in Missoula. It's a very nice day out, cool mornings, which is what I like as opposed to hot days. So that's a Montana morning for you. To add, I think we might go climbing, something that I've really enjoyed the last couple of weeks. Uh, an activity that I've avoided for a very long time, just having epilepsy. And <clears throat> as time progresses, I'm kind of getting out of the house, uh, not adding to the idea that epilepsy holds you back, that you have to say no to more uh, enduring activities. So I'm gonna add to this video, but for the most part, uh, starting the day off strong with some bedhead and coffee, so. Hey everyone, one of the last um, bases that we're gonna touch here uh, before I head home for the most part, climbing gym, freestone climbing. Um, pretty empty today, only what, about three other climbers. A little busier when we first got here, but uh, since living in a town of 500, Great Falls doesn't have much for a climbing gym. Uh, just trying to enjoy this one last time before um, it's time to go home. So do a couple of routes. I think it's one of the bigger things that uh, I'm gonna kind of promote in future uh, videos. Just because you have epilepsy, it doesn't mean you kind of have to isolate yourself from doing fun things or I guess even challenging things you know I can't say climbing is the safest but at the same time you know as long as you don't put yourself in challenging situations um, everything is pretty safe for the most part it's something that I've always wanted to try uh, but at the exact same time I've been through those challenges of kind of isolating myself kind of putting epilepsy ahead of doing fun things with family and friends so now that I'm opening those doors and you know trying new things, I've kind of found something that I enjoy. Uh, clears my mind a little bit. Uh, stop worrying about the daily effects, the you know daily stressful anxiety triggers that you know usually cause those seizures. Usually, just trying to find the next hold that you're going to put your foot or hand in uh, is a huge focus. So you're not worried about that stuff. So as you you know find things that help release that stress and anxiety for yourself stick with it uh, definitely put yourself out there and try new things eventually you'll find something that helps with the daily activities so again i think we have a couple more bases to touch here in missoula but i'm uh, gonna enjoy the you know last hour or so here and eventually have to go home so hey everyone one of the last bits here um on the way home finally on the road Made our final stops for the most part, got the groceries. Um, unfortunately, forgot to fuel up. But, wow, some bald eagles right here, fighting over something. That was kind of a random piece right there. Um, but I did, well, I wouldn't say magical, but uh, pretty amazing. Anyway, I thought uh, I'd shoot this short little video, kind of show the scenery for the most part. Uh, springtime, hitting summer in Montana, things are pretty green. Water is coming down a little bit, raining just a little bit, but um, yeah, let's see here.
maybe not the best shots coming in from the inside of a car, but you know, if you're here with me, you could definitely see how beautiful it is. A little bit overcast, but again, it's crazy how hot it can be and still see snow on top of mountains. So, but uh, I'll make sure to finish this video up once I get home and um, kind of pursue with wrapping things up, staying in Missoula for what would be, I guess, springtime and taking on the summer with a four-year-old. So I'm sure there's gonna be some better spots and I'll make sure to add to that. I'm not exactly sure how clear that scene of those two bald eagles fighting over that roadkill was, but I'll definitely look back on it. But yep, on the way home, 